my name is Dr. Matt Tobin. I'm a geriatric psychiatrist, uh, as well as the program director for the psychiatry program here at Queen's University. And I am from Labrador. My name's Eric, and I was born in Ohio and grew up outside Hamilton, Ontario. My name is Elise, and uh, I'm from a small town called Prince Edward County, which is about an hour away from Kingston. I'm Robert Reed, and I'm from uh, London, Ontario. Uh, my name's David, and uh, I'm from Mississauga. Hi, I'm Mahila, and I'm from Toronto. Hi, I'm Spencer, uh, and I'm originally from Oshawa, Ontario. Hi, I'm Joanne. I uh, was born into a military family and came to Kingston about four years ago. Hi, my name is Kevin O'Neill. I'm the Academic Program Coordinator. I was born and raised in Kingsville, Ontario, which is a small town near Windsor. So I, uh, I really like getting to know people and uh, when they're struggling, being able to help them. Our, our main sort of tools that we're using with patients is our conversation. I really enjoy that back and forth. Uh, it's quite a privilege to work in this field. People you meet for the first time uh, will share some really uh, personal and intimate details about their life. We bridge everything from very artistic, creative activities to very scientific and factual based things. And then you combine that with the people and the things that we get to do. I just find it's fascinating and I really enjoy my work. We're a, we're a smaller to mid-sized program, which allows us the opportunity to work alongside our resident colleagues, um, starting from day one as a, as a first year resident, all the way up to uh, their last day as a senior resident. It feels like one big family. You get to know all the residents really well, especially those in your year. And also um, you get to know almost all the faculty quite well and it lends to a really comfortable learning environment. Uh, we've got a very passionate staff here that um, you enjoy teaching, working alongside residents. And, um, you know, we're fortunate to have residents who are quite passionate about, uh, about passionate about the work that they do. And I think uh, that allows for our program to really thrive. Kingston provides a really diverse uh, exposure to a variety of patient populations. We have a great population of both the military here as well as the vast prison population. Competency-based medical education is a strength. We've been doing it here at Queen's for four years or more. Not to boast that we've kind of got it down and that, that's saying something because there can be a lot of wrinkles if you start, you're starting a new program and you are a guinea pig in a new curriculum. You won't be here. I think our resident body is, is superbly close and hardworking and they really do want to learn and I found that con in contrast to a lot of the other programs across the country. I think one of the absolute best things about Kingston is how much there is to do outdoors. So, I mean, you have everything you need in the city, but you can drive like know five minutes up the road in any direction and you'll find camping, hiking, trails, swimming. There's just so much to do and in all seasons. Amazing restaurants and shops and, and theaters and, and just kind of a, a vibrant downtown life. It's got all the uh, amenities of a large city but a small town feel to it. There's so many waterfront trails so whenever I walk my dog I can always have this magnificent view um, of gorgeous sunrises or sunsets over Lake Ontario or the Cataraqui River. And even walking from Hotel Dew or from PCH to the waterfront just gives you a chance to reset your day. There's lots of restaurants and lots of things to do. And I'm uh, also in the Kingston Single Malt Society, so if you like scotch, uh, I like that as well too.